In today's video, we're going to cover a simple button design, a sort of skeuomorphic, stylish kind of button design, which you can just see here on the right. Now, uh, these sort of button designs are becoming very popular at the minute, which I'm quite happy about. I really like this style. I think it's really fun. It's really cool. And um, yeah, it's really fun to see all these different kind of these buttons and the skeuomorphic style gain a lot more popularity. If you're on Twitter, you'll have seen a lot of um, buttons like this that I've designed. There's a number of different ways <clears throat> you can create buttons like this using inner shadows and strokes and, and gradients and things like this. So this is just one simple sort of method to, to make a button like this. There's a number of different ways, like I said, but this is just one simple method that you can play around with to sort of take your buttons from looking just a standard blue button to something with a bit more kind of, yeah, style and detail and a, a bit more uh, vibe to it. So pretty much <clears throat> your standard button obviously is a, is a fill color and then you've just got the white text and, and your icon. So how can we sort of take this and, and turn it into this? It's really only a few simple things you need to do. So the first thing you want to do is add a drop shadow. You can make this one to two, maybe about 24. And we'll just use the, there should be a primary black in this design system I'm using. We'll use that. That'll work for now. And then the next thing you want to do is create kind of a spread. So if you put this down at the bottom, you want to use the, the primary color so we can just take that. You want to set that to one, set these to zero, set it to 100%, and then make sure that it's set to 100%, spread one, blur X, Y, zero. Now, if you can't see this spread thing, you probably just need to tick clip content if you're struggling there. And then the other drop shadow, we just want to have maybe around 24% right now. So what we're doing right now is the stroke of this button is done using a shadow, basically the outer stroke. And then all we need to do now is add a linear gradient inside. So we can go linear gradient white. If you set this to white and now you can see it starting to look where we're at. And then the, this is where you can just start playing with it really and find the style that you want for your design and just, just make it your own. So obviously we can start with it's entirely like 22%. So you can see that it's now got that kind of look. It's looking a bit more pressable. It's looking almost a bit more like tactile and a bit more physical essentially. So now with this, it's just a case of playing around with it. So we could try 33, bit of a stronger look. And over here we did 44. Now <clears throat> what I like to do is actually play with the thickness of the line as well. So we can go 0.75 and that's made the line thinner and again it's making it it's again you're just messing with the details to just to, to just create that kind of clean look to the button so we can try 44 and that's basically exactly what we've got on the right there so just that simple kind of technique there and you've got a nice tactile more skeuomorphic kind of button now the final thing i've done here is just mess with a little radial gradient which if i turn this on and off you can see it's just like a touch of lighting to just again give it a more realistic look almost feel like there's some lighting shining on it basically so pretty much add your radial gradient make it white and then again just play around with it so you can play with the spread you can play with the angle and usually i'm just going to put it in the center spread it out a bit and then make it kind of subtle like 12 or something um, and then basically now you've got a much more sort of tactile skeuomorphic looking button basically and obviously you can take this stuff take this kind of technique and kind of um, this stack here and obviously just make it your own you can really mess with the with the values of everything you could go even 0 0.5 make it super subtle but then bring up maybe the the strength of the line you can really mess with this <clears throat> and just make it your own basically so I hope you got some value from this video and uh, see you next time. Thank you.